Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawcraft One and my old barn door, and I have a new booth open. This booth is for Miss Denise Howard, and she sent me two journals, so we'll go through those, but first I wanted to show you she sent me some goodies. Thank you so much, Denise, and look at this cute, cute card. I stinking love this card, and it's going in my friend journal, and I love the envelope that came with it. I might have to... Um, do some collage work on the on the envelope so I'm gonna put that to the side and she sent me this little note here's a few things I thought you might like the ledger paper is from around 25 to 30 years old the barn pictures are from 1989 by Bob Bates the Yahtzee scorecard pad from 1972 they have that old smell to them I love that smell and then the Children's Farmer's Books from 1963. Hope you like them. XOXO, Denise. Thank you so much, Denise, for sharing these with me. I'm super excited to see what's in this little bag. Let's see if I, I'm just going to try and pull it all out. Okay, so here's the Yahtzee scorecards. Oh, they do have that old smell to them. Oh, I love these so much. Look how nice and yellowed they are. And then this is super cool. I have never seen this. The Great Game of Kismet from 1965. I've never heard of this game. It, the scorecard looks very similar to um, the Yahtzee scorecard, though. Super cool. Thank you so much for sharing these with me, Denise. These are wonderful. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Still having problems with this cough and allergies in my voice. Look at these wonderful napkins she sent me. And I love that they have um, the inverted colors. Look how cool those are. Super pretty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank oh, look at these. Oh, wow. I love. Oh, look. They have a recipe on them. How stinking cute are those? I love those. Uh, those are adorable. And then we have, who took the farmer's hat? <laughs> this is the, I think she said this one was from 1963. So stinking cute. I cannot wait. I'm getting ready to work on um, a, a, a farmhouse top or farmer top journal for um, my best friend's daughter. She just had a baby. And, um, ooh, look at this ledger paper. And she wants cows and sunflowers. So I'm going to do her a ring binder journal for all of the goodies she got from her baby shower. Oh, I love this. Can y'all see this? I love how yellow it is on the edges. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I love these. I love these a lot. These are awesome. I'm so in love with ledger paper. And I can't ever find old ledger paper. I don't know why, but I just have a hard time finding it. Look at this one. I love this one. Awesome. Oh, oh look at the vintage uh, wallpaper. Oh, it's got the little um, dragonflies on it. I love these. Thank you, Denise. Oh, look at the co different colored ones. Oh, these are gorgeous. Love that. Oh, and look at the ones with the vines. Won't that look cute in a farmer house, farm style journal, or even a shabby chic journal? Those would, those would be good for both. And then we have some music paper. Let the glory come down by Benjamin Gaither. Oh, I know this song. Super cute. Thank you. These would make really cute envelopes folded, just the way she's got them, wouldn't they? Okay, and then these must be the barn pictures from Bob Bates. I love this. Oh my goodness, look how pretty. Bob's barn. Oh, I love these so much. Oh, thank you for sharing these with me. These are gorgeous. Look at the old car. And then, I don't know if you can see the picture of her. There's a picture of a lady out there with the big hat. So stinking cute. Oh my goodness, I have a picture like this that I took when I lived out on my farm. 
of my barn and a big tree that was beside it. Look at the old Model T. Oh, and see, I have a fall one, too, of my barn. And in the background, you have all the yellow and orange colors from the trees. These are gorgeous. Denise, thank you so much for sharing these with me. Look at the springtime one. These are beautiful. Oh, thank you so, so much. What a wonderful little package you sent me. I'm very appreciative of you doing that. Thank you for sharing. All right, I'm going to tuck these back in to my bag here. And then we're going to get to look at the wonderful journals that she sent. So these will be on my Facebook group or Facebook page. And so if you see a journal that you like, you just go to my Facebook page and you type in the comments on the journal that you like. Did you type in sold? And then you just send me an email um, with your name and your complete address so I can get you a good shipping price and your PayPal address so that I can send you an invoice. And then I'll get the invoice sent to you. And then you can come, um, and then I'll ship your, um, your journal to you. So that's how it's going to work. I love the way she packaged these. It's like Christmas in May. <laughs> I hate to open them. I want them to be, still be pretty. Okay, so this one, I'm going to go ahead and open it. I'm going to try and open it carefully. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but we're going to try so that I can try and wrap them back up for you. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I will try to. Okay. Oh, look how pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit here. Bear with me. And that way you guys can see it a little better. Look how pretty this journal is. Oh, and it has a little package to come with it. We'll look at that in just a minute. Look. Look at her sweet little face. So this is a paper bag journal. And it's got this beautiful little bow here. And then on the back, look at the paper on the back. That's gorgeous. All right, I'm going to slide this off. That way we can keep the bow tied as pretty as she has it. And then I'm going to scoop those up a little bit. I'm just trying to check the camera and make sure you guys can see good. Oh, my goodness. Look how pretty she is. Oh, I love this. Oh, look. It's got a little... I've never seen a paper bag journal, you guys. So, this is new to me. I'm excited. It's got a little pocket here. And inside the pocket, you have some really sweet ephemera. Oh, look. She made a little booklet out of a... What a neat idea. Am I holding that too close? I'm sorry. <laughs> I forget that I've zoomed in. Look, it's got a cute little pocket. I love, love, love this. Oh, for prayers. How wonderful is this? Oh, I love this paper in here. So a cute little booklet. That is adorable. And then you have a piece, uh, a journaling card piece. And then, oh, this looks like a book page. Keeping the morning alive throughout the day. Okay, with a little poem. Like an inspirational poem. I love that. And then you have a sheet here for journaling. Oh, I love this verse. This is so neat. I love this. Okay, so I'm going to put this back in the little pocket. Where'd it go? Okay, there we go. <laughs> this is super cute. I love this. Look at this. It's got a little journaling card and it has coffee dab paper on the back. I love this vintage lace she did here and she embellished it with the flowers. These are um, like the paper flowers. Love, love, love this coffee dab ledger paper. I love this. This is a beautiful little book. I'm going to get in trouble with all of y'all sending me these journals because I want them all. <laughs> you have a little journaling card in a pocket here. I love this fabric. I have some like this. It's in blue. And then here's a vintage book page. 
No, it's not a book page. It's a card. How cool is this? I love how yellow it is. And then we have some hymnals. I love these. I love the name of it. God be with you. And at the cross. And then here is a really cool um, vintage little card. And it has a Bible quiz on it. How cool is that? Oh, I love the ephemera that you've put in here. This is a gorgeous little journal, Denise. That's pretty. Looks like a book page. Oh, and she's got a little envelope here that she's got a bow tied around. I hate to open it, but I'm going to have to so you guys can see what's in it. And then it has some ephemera inside the little envelope. Oh, it's a tiny little booklet. Look how stinking cute that is. Oh, I love that. What is it about tiny things that we all love so much? <laughs> okay, let me see if I can get this little bow tie back. I'm fumbling with my fingers here. And then you have a little bag pocket here. And she's got a pocket on the front. She's got some stamping with a little journal piece here and a little oh I love those stamps so super cute and then inside you have some little pieces of ephemera kept by the power of God oh I love these these are gorgeous so stinking cute and then she's got lace here on the back side of the bag and it says in everything give thanks I love this journal so much the pretty lace that she has down the edges of her page and then she's got a lace pocket here you can tell it's vintage lace with a little journaling card with copied up paper on the back there lined paper with some embellishments oh i love this little embellishment with the birds can y'all see that okay i'm so excited i'm <laughs> I'm loving this journal so much. I'm not making sure y'all can see. I love that she did just some light stenciling on this lined children's paper. Have some craft paper and some music paper. I love this little journal. A couple of journaling cards here and a little side pocket. And it looks like this paper. Oh, wait, they're little booklets. And it's dyed. Oh, they're index cards. How stinking cute. And then she's got them like um, dyed with like pinks and blues. Oh, I love that. I'm moving the book around. Sorry. So there's two of those in there. So stinking cute. And then you have this. Looks like a little piece of vintage stationery. Sweet little pocket here with some journal and space for some prayers. I love this so much. Like, I want to keep these journals. <laughs> Let me be in trouble. I love the coffee dyed paper. And then she has a little clip here. Pretty little purple paper clip. Side pocket. And it says, a journaling card. Pray without ceasing. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Can you see the little dots on the back? I love that. I don't know if that's um, Kool-Aid dyed paper or Easter egg dyed paper. I'm not sure which. Then you have this sweet little pocket with these little cherub angels here and a pretty little tag with coffee dyed paper and I love the pretty um, pink trim that she tied at the top. And this pocket is like a collage pocket. Can you guys see that? And it has lace here with vintage book page and music page. Super pretty and this is the center of your journal. I love your coffee dyeing. Another full page pocket here. Uh oh, the pen's come undone. Let me just buckle him back. We don't want to lose our charm. It's got a little charm here. See the little cross charm on a bold pen? And then a couple of journaling cards here. Backed to coffee dyed paper. So pretty. Be still and know that I am God. I love this. And then you have a pretty little journaling card here gorgeous 
have some uh, a pretty little flower with a seed pack embellishing that page music paper graph paper the children's book page was stenciling not children's book page children's writing pad and then here you have a altered decorated paper clip look how cute she did that she's got a little ribbon and a little dangle on there hopefully it's focusing so you can see it's got a pretty little jewel in there and then she clipped this pretty little tag with some gorgeous lace on it onto the page with that sweet paper clip I love that lines paper and then here's a little belly band and she's got a couple more of these fold out index cards that are um, they're dyed I'm not sure if it's Kool-Aid or Easter egg dyed but it's like pinks and blues and purples super pretty and I love that her attention to detail she's punched the edges of those index cards then you have a sweet little pocket here okay this is the other side of that bag and um, a sweet little journaling card back down to some coffee dyed paper and that's the other side of that book page and then you have um, your lace here on the page Oh, she's put a pretty little fabric flip here or tip in however you want to call it and look I'm gonna hold it up close so you can see her sweet little ball pin that she did with seed beads I love that that's what I'm saying her attention to detail is just wonderful I love this here's that ledger paper that I like and then this is the back of the journal Oh, what a beautiful little journal. I love this, Denise. You did such a good job. And then this is a, like a little goodie pack that you get with it. And she backed it with cardboard just to make sure it was good and sturdy. So that'll go back into the package like that. But look at this sweet envelope. I love her collage work on this envelope. And she collaged both front and back. And then she filled it with goodies for you. Oh, my goodness, you guys. This is wonderful. You get all kinds of ephemera to decorate and use in your little journal. I love this. Oh my goodness, I'd totally buy this one. <laughs> Look, she puts you some vintage lace in there and some of that beautiful, beautiful fabric. Ooh, and some more vintage lace. And then some sweet little um, fold-out journaling cards. I love these. I love this so much. What a wonderful, wonderful little package, you guys. This is like a treasure trove of little goodies tucked into this sweet little envelope. Oh my goodness, I love this. So let me get all of this put back together real quick and then we'll do the other journal. Just one sec. Oh, I forgot to read the little um, the little sheet that came with the paper bag journal. It's seven and a half by five inches long bag journal. 30 pages, images from Calico Collage. On the third page in the fabric pocket are vintage ephemera. The hymnal pages included in the pocket are from the 1920s, or from 1920. I included a writing board to use between pages because of the decorations. So that's what that is. See, y'all, I'm so stinking duh sometimes. So this is a writing board. What a neat idea. And the envelope is leftovers from the journal. Oh my goodness, I am in love with this journal. Okay, hang on and let me get it put back together and we'll start with the other one. Okay, so we have this journal. Let's see what we have in here. I love the way she packaged these up. Don't let me forget to read those. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can undo the tape on this one as easily. Hang on. Okay, cut the tape open. So I'm just going to slide this out the bottom so I can try and keep that paper intact so I can try and wrap it back up for you. Okay, it's a Bugs Bunny little golden book. How stinking cute is this? I keep holding it up. Maybe I need to zoom out just a little bit now. Hang on. There we go. Okay, and she's got this pretty little tie. It's like a silver ribbon tied around it. So it has a one and a quarter inch spine, two signatures. The full story is in order. The first signature has 26 pages. 
second signature has 22 pages so I'm thinking what she means is it's 26 pages so you would times that by four so 20 oh gosh I'm mathing hang on a second okay so if you do 26 times 4, it gives you 104, and then the second signature has 22, so that would be 88. So you got 192 pages in this sweet little journal. And look, she's got the pretty little book corners on the edges, and then here's the back of the journal. Here's the spine, and I love the fabric she used on the spine. Look at the sweet, here, let me pull this. I'm going to pull the ribbon off. So you can see the cover and the buttons a little better. Look at those sweet little buttons she put on the cover on the spine. Super, super cute. I love this. Okay, so this is the 1971 version of the Bugs Bunny Carrot Machine Journal. Got some, um, some pretty um, rainbow color paper with a sweet little tab here. Cute little pocket here made out of an envelope. That's adorable with a children's book page. It's got a pretty little collage down here. Hopefully you can see that okay. And then a sweet little tag. I love the shape of this tag. That's very unique. Super cute. It's like a pencil. I love that. But it's also like a carrot. Okay, I get it. <laughs> it took me a minute, but I got it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Super cute little page here or pocket here with a children's book page picture embellishing it and then check out this uh, large size tag with um, this is um, it's not coffee dyed well it might be coffee dyed but I think that's just the color of it but it's kind of got a texture to it super cute my daughter would love that because she loves giraffes <laughs> and then here we have um, an extra sheet clipped in Let's see if I can a little brown seed so small and round are sleeping quietly underground. They hold up their heads and look at the sun. So stinking cute. And it's extra journaling on the inside. That's adorable. I love that. So it's just clipped on here with a pretty green paper clip. And then here you have a pocket out of a carrot seed pack. And then we have this cute journaling page or journaling tag. And it's a recipe, grilled carrots with smoky ketchup. Hmm. That's questionable. <laughs> I don't think I would like those two together, but you never know. And I love the graph paper that she put it on, or the, um, the vintage graph paper that she put it on. I love this pocket. Here's another one of the rainbow dyed with a uh, sweet little tab. And then she's got some vintage crocheted lace here on the edge of the page. Sweet little pocket down here that she's collaged with a couple of, um, looks like magazine cutouts. And then she's got some, some of that vintage um, lace there. And then a sweet little journaling card tucked into the pocket with a carrot on. This is really cute. I love this. Ooh, this is purple dyed paper. And then she's got this tag clipped on. Super cute. Why, hello there. <laughs> That's adorable. Oh my goodness. I love this paper with the cards on it. Then she's got a belly band here that she's got ribbon laced through. And she's tucked in this sweet little envelope. And inside, she's made you a little booklet with some carrots on it and some of her dyed paper. So cute. I love this. Tuck that back in there. And then he goes back in there. Super pretty. I love the colors in this book. There's some more of that lace. And then she's got another envelope here made from a children's book with a collage. Super cute. And another one of those super cute little carrot tags. I love those. I love this paper. There's another one of those cute little pockets with a tiny carrot tag. I love her collaging. And then this is the center of the signature. And she's got a couple of little circles embellished there. Another one of those tabs. This paper is awesome. I'm gonna flip quickly. Love this little pocket and I love the way she tore it. 
And then she's got some um, some of that vintage crochet lace there. This is a little booklet. Oh, it's a flip out. Look how stinking cute that is. It flips all the way out for extra journaling in there. That's adorable. And then she has another one. I love her attention to detail again. She's um, done the edges, punched the edges. Sweet little journaling card there. And then this folds in like an envelope. Oh, how stinking cute is that? It's a little booklet with extra coffee dyed paper that she's put in the center for some hidden journaling in there. I love that. I love the mix of colors that she used in this journal. There's a fabric tip in with some of that crocheted lace at the top. Oh, and you have a little puppy peeking through behind it. That's adorable. Here's one of those envelope pockets made out of a children's book page with Winnie the Pooh. And then your little folding carrot tag. These tags are adorable. <laughs> That's a great job on that. Love this. This is such a cute little book. Okay, so that's the end of the first signature, and then we start the second signature. She put a little embellishment here, like a little tab. She's got some washi down on the bottom of this page. Hopefully you can see this okay. I'm sorry, guys. And then there's a little pocket here, like a coin envelope pocket, that she's done some collaging on. Let me hold it up for you so you can see it a little better. And then she's tucked in a children's book page. How stinking cute, the little bunny in the carrot patch. I love that. That's adorable. She's got some pretty lace on the side here. Music page. I love these papers, the mix of papers that she used. Here's one of those pockets with the children's book page envelope. And I love that it closes and then she's got a cute little, oh, it's a tally card. How stinking cute is that? I love that and the colors match perfectly with this little journal. Then you have a little tag here, the little ribbon at the top. And then one of the carrot tags. So stinking cute. I love those carrot tags. It's very creative. And I love the colors of the ribbons that she used throughout the journal. There's another little pocket. And it has one of the carrot tags there. And I think each of these carrot tags fold open. To have extra journaling inside and out. And then a cute little um, vintage... Um, um, like message sheet. I've never seen that color one. So cool. And that color goes perfect in this journal. I love this paper. You got a collaged pocket here. And then she's got a couple of little tiny, she's got a little tag with um, um, an eyelet. I was almost said Brad, but it's an eyelet. Super cute. And then this folds open. And look, it's got a little utensils there stamped on the bottom. That's a tiny, tiny stamp. Some more of her um, dyed papers. Center of the signature with the sweet little circles on there. Another one of those really cute little tabs. I love the orange and the green. Oh my goodness, I love her face. How stinking cute is she? And then you got a little bingo card inside with a little tab up here with a button. I love the vintage bingo cards. Have another little belly band here with the ribbon running through it. And a children's playing card, like a flash card. One of those sweet little envelopes. And inside, whoops, we have a couple of pages to journal on. A couple of different journaling sheets. And I'm backwards, so you'll have everything put in the left-handed way. Sorry. <laughs> That's super cute. Oops. Then we have a Winnie the Pooh pocket here. You have another one of those cute little carrot tags that I love. And then this looks like a children's flashcard green square. So stinking cute. Some more of that pretty lace. 
Got a little collage here with some washi and some flowers. Another sweet little pocket with some collage in here. I love this little vintage playing card. And then there is dilled carrots. It's a recipe and a tag. So you have journaling space on the back. Not sure about dilled carrots either. I'm not a huge fan of carrots though, so maybe that's why. <laughs> Sweet little pocket here made from a vintage children's book page. And then you have another one of those children's playing card tags. Orange rhombus. Another one of your cute little carrot tags. Oh, this has got to be a carrot cake recipe. Or it's a picture of carrot cake from a recipe book. Super cute. Very creative with this journal. And then that is the end of the journal. So I hope you love these as much as I do. And I hope you run on over to my Facebook and grab them up while you can. Because I think that these journals are going to go super fast. So uh, run on over there. Grab the one that you like. And uh, send me an email and let me know. And I'll get it taken care of for you. So thanks for watching. And um, don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Um, leave any comments or questions that you have in the box below. And leave some love for Denise. And um, if you will, subscribe. And we'll see more videos like this coming soon. Thanks for watching, you guys. Big hugs.